Al so, had Juf. Hey, Jufi. Ah, damn, yeah, I'm King Juf. I don't know why, but Storms, it came to my head. <laughs> yeah, I thought Storms. I, love that. I don't know Go. why. But yeah. I was like, yo, big Storms, big Mike. He's on crud. He's from the ends. <laughs> I've got this irrational fear as well. Again, I'm going to go off for a minute. Um, of, in a swimming pool that I'm going to get eaten by a shark. <laughs> Like upstairs, so I was I was there with it. This one I'm saying. So from Dave, Fredo, Maya Jama, Stormzy, Retch Free Two, Gets, uh, Avellino, H, Harry Panero, literally like a number ten role. Mm. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> genuinely. <laughs> Hi, uh, welcome to our podcast presented by myself, Louis Rafter and Jack Dakin. See, I've got a scout. Nah, I'm alright, that. we'll roll with that. Hi everyone, welcome. Um, we are going to roll with that, Louis. I don't are know. we? Yeah, I don't know if you're happy with that. Is but it Scouts or Jordy? Oh, Johnny's just... Sorry. We're Johnny in there. Get in camera, John. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll roll with it. Yeah. Been a few right. errors there, Johnny stepping in. I think that might be the first time he's been on camera. Fine with that. Um, Get him here. How are you, Louis? Very good, yeah. I uh, had football today. So oh, did you win? Yeah, one two, no. oh, right, Clean sheet. No. So, yeah. Happy days. Happy days. Mine got cancelled. Three wins on the spin. Yours did get cancelled, didn't it? I meant to be in the FA Vars. We're like three games away from Wembley, so that's massive. Um, talking about football, um, I do just want to bring up my bet. Um, yeah, you're under a bit of pressure here, right? Well, yeah. I'm not anymore because I think the game's over. I'm going to check my phone. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> if they've scored. Professional, is that yeah, right? no, they haven't scored. So, um, AC Milan uh, are playing 15th in the league and AC Milan are second. And they're a draw in two all. They were 2 0 down at half time. Uh, they bought two back. And there's about a minute to go. And if they score, then I will headbutt a wall. Yeah. Out of excitement. Podcast cancelled. Yeah. Uh, out of excitement, <laughs> not out of anything else. Not sure, Just what else it, yeah, not sure what else it would be. But um, that's football, that's betting, yeah, rock sport. Not a betting, man. Well, I'm not, but I had no game today. And I thought, how can I. You need a get bit a of a football of a, fix. Yeah, I needed me, yeah, me fix, a little bit of uh, entertainment on a Saturday. Usually, like I say, it's football. And um, this feels very far away today. I'm going to bring it a bit closer. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I needed a football fix. Didn't win, unfortunately. 465 quid. I would have won if facing Lionel. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah, all right, wouldn't it? Uh, exactly. And it, yeah, it'd have been magic. And I'm not going out at the moment as well. So. Straight to the uh, Ibiza pot. Yeah, probably. Or what are the pots? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Anything. Anything and everything. Just really could have done with it. But that's the way the, the cookie crumbles. Um, Rafter, I wanted to, to bring up a TV show. Uh, oh, hang on, live score, one second. Pressure. Do you believe in miracles? Two all finished. Fuck! <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, fucking hell. I wanted to talk about a TV show that I've been watching. Me and Johnny have been watching it. Um, this week, it's took over my life a little bit. Um, traitors. Uh, I don't know, I think I've mentioned it to you. Yeah, you have um, in group chat, but I've not got around to watching it. Absolute chaos. Go on then, what world, it about? World class. So, you've got 22 people that go into this castle... Middle of Scotland somewhere, I'm not really sure where. Um, and three of them are traitors, and they've got to each night kill someone. It's like a real life game show. They choose someone to eliminate, um, who obviously they think is going to find out that they're the traitors. And right. then, so each night, one person gets murdered at night, and then before the murder, they have a round table and they vote out people who they think is a traitor. So like two people go each evening, kind of thing. Uh, um, I see. And right. then in the day, they do tasks to earn money, mate absolute TV gold. Like, one of the best things I've watched in a long, long time. Because it's been fuck all. So what's the aim of the game, then? To, to work out who the Yeah, to, well, the traitors have to win, then they take all the money, and they can win up to, like, 120 grand. Or... How do you win? <laughs> yeah, I've, I applied. Have you? Yeah. Of course you have. What, I mean, Kate, oh, mate, I was watching have. it. I said to Johnny... Love Island traitors, anything. <laughs> Get I said, this man on TV. <laughs> I, said, I said to Johnny, um, they all cry. That's all oh, they did. Awful. All they do is cry. About and what? Well, just because they're all like get all loved up with each other because they're best mates and then they have to lie to each other. I was like, who gives a fuck? You're there <laughs> to win money. money each three. In it? Like, yeah, they're like in there for like oh, two weeks. <laughs> oh, have you seen it all? Yeah. yeah what is it, a series? Yeah, yeah, he finished it early today, yeah. How long's the series? 12 episodes, but mate, the best one. That's why. Our each? Yeah, I, on the first night I started watching it, I watched six episodes in one night. So I didn't go to bed till 2 a.m. So, because I just couldn't That's stop a week watching ruined. it. Yeah. Sleeping back and it was. I was meant to go in the gym in the morning. I, I remember putting it in the group chat and I didn't go because I was just fucked because I'd been watching Traitors all night. little margins, Jack. Yeah, we really talk was. about this, part. Well, that's why I finished it really quickly. I said this to Johnny. Johnny <laughs> told me off. Good, yeah? yeah, well, Johnny told me off for watching it without him. 
But I said I needed to get rid of it so I can get on with my life because yeah. it was taking over my life and it's yeah. not good. Um, so, yeah, anyone watching, if you haven't, recommend it. Get on it. Yeah. Unbelievable. I mean, we'll move on from that. Uh, we're back in the gym again. Or As always, massive thank you to Five Fat Boxing. Massive thank you to Craig. Um, we do put their Instagrams in the link down below, so make sure to go follow them. would really help them out. And, and like I say, they do us a massive favour, so please do. Um, obviously, we've got a guest as, as always when we're here, um, and this guest is the self-proclaimed, I will put that out there, the lead serial socialiser, um, Mr. Sanchez Payne. Um, he is a presenter for BBC Leeds. He does everything, mate. Yeah. Does everything. Presenter for BBC Leeds, BBC Yorkshire, is a DJ, was on Love at First Lie on MTV quite recently, was on Come Down With Me a few years ago, was on Ibiza Dreams... Um, which is like a TV show where we went to Ibiza. We'll find out a bit more. Used to play for Leeds United. I think he made a cap for Leeds United, actually. Did he? Played at Ellen Road, then yeah. had a series of injuries. And you just said he went to Doncaster Rovers, yeah, you think? Yeah, apparently, yeah. Um, so we're asking about that. Off. <laughs> On, he's, yeah, well, he's, he's done it all. He's uh, yeah. lived some life. So Inspiring. maybe the, the serial uh, socialiser is probably... Yeah the right sort of name yeah. for him. So um, we'll get Sanchez on. We'll uh, find out a little bit about him. Uh, if you enjoy the podcast, as always, make sure to like, make sure to share, and uh, yeah, let's crack it on. Vamos. It's just, it's just consistency. I've seen a stat where it's like 90% of podcasts don't make it past... I love this one. Yeah, 20, don't, make, don't make it past three episodes, and then 90% of, of them, them don't make it past... Episode 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah 20. So yeah. If, yeah, so if you do get past... That is mad. If you do That's 21 crazy, episodes of a podcast, you're, you're 90%. Yeah, yeah. Which is mental. So we're eight. No, it's a six. Yeah. 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 We've got another 12 to go. Can we make it? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So we're rolling already. Uh, we're here with Sanchez Payne. Sanchez, how are you, mate? Thank you very much for coming on, mate. Thank you very much for having me. No, it's it's all good. We uh, we know you're a very busy guy. We were saying in the <laughs> yeah, intro. There's and, a long list of things what you've been yeah, in. Yeah. <laughs> which we're going to ask you about. Um, but one thing we always do at the start of an episode is a little thing called potluck. So we've got a pot there with some questions in. Oh, lit. lit bit of an icebreaker. Yeah. Nice. Um, pick a question. and uh, What so, am I asking you? Is this for no, 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 no. us to ask you? So that's Have a new, new question, first yeah. of all, because it's on normal paper. So oh, this could be brand exciting. new. Yeah. So yeah. I might, what, what, am I reading yeah, it? You read, you read it out. You read it out. The zombie apocalypse is coming. Yeah. What three famous people are you taking? Ooh, do you know what's so weird? Should I say off the cuff? I don't know why, but Storms, it came to my head. <laughs> yeah, I thought Storms, I, love that. I don't know Go. why, but yeah. I was like, yo, big Storms, big Mike, he's on crud, he's from the ends, <laughs> he's a big guy, if I need to sacrifice, he's the one that's going to get yeah. the eyes drawn. Lots to be Storms. Keep you entertained as well. Yeah, 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 so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going for Storms first and foremost. Only because I've been watching him recently. Uh, KSI, he looks like he can yeah. throw hands, so he yeah. looks like he could be uh, <laughs> be dangerous. Ah, oh, let me think, man. Because the obvious one to be like, like a Bear Grylls type thing. Mm. Yeah. Or someone from, someone from SAS Who Dares Wins. Yeah. Ad Middleton or someone. Yeah, yeah. someone like really that. really interested in this. Yeah. I'd have never, ever have gone these. Well, well, I'm so well, quick. I don't I know why. Never, yeah, never would have gone KSI. <laughs> what are you thinking though? Like, what would you have gone well, for? Well, I don't know. I think I'd go for like, like sort of Sanjay's paint. It's sort of uh, inevitable you're going to die though. So you want, like, you want people around you who are going to make you happy for about a week and well, then you've had it. Well, yeah, or <laughs> that are dangerous. But then, yeah. well, I think I've got a good mixture of both because Storms yeah. has got banter. KSI's lived his life doing that. Yeah. And then Ant will be like, all right, lads, I'll chill out. This. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. He's the one that would ground us when we're yeah. just like spraying guns. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just doing yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just talk, talking rubbish. So, yeah, no, I think, I think that's, that's a good that's yeah, a good trio, man. Listen, that's a strong, strong three. What, what do, you, do, you, do you reckon you go for? What? Uh, Bear Grylls. I think yeah. that'd be an obvious one. Do we have electricity in so far? Is it like, is everything. Well, zombie apocalypse, is there. Uh, Bear grills. I'd want like a doctor or a nurse. If some oh, happened. okay. But then if they bite you, you've had it, haven't you? You're, so yeah, what's but, the point? Exactly. Yeah, but you're 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 you are you're being clever there. Yeah. I see where you're going through. Yeah, yeah you've got a, a doctor, a food hunter gatherer. Yeah, yeah. You're doing that. Okay, yeah, I that's see. I go down. And then I don't know. I'd want someone like funny, like speed. Yeah, speed. I show speed. All right, keep me entertained. Entertained, but after a week of speed, <laughs> bro, barking, <laughs> thinking it's I am legend, some apocalypse dog is around the corner, just sleeping. <laughs> I think it's the best. Like no, allow it. Who are you going for? I don't know. I really don't know. I'd have, I reckon I'd have to think about this because you're right about a hunter gatherer person. I don't know if I could deal with Bear Grylls. He seems a bit. 
Busy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, very <laughs> busy. Well, yeah. Hey guys, what you need to do is make sure you urinate in a can. <laughs> the can needs to be on the top shelf so the condensation, bro, allow it, man. This little fella tastes really good. <laughs> yeah, for no reason he's doing front rolls and that and nah. <laughs> Bear, yeah. just give it a rest. Well, go on, on, off the cuff, off the um, cuff. All right, off the cuff, let's, I don't know who off the cuff. I'd, I'd go with like Ant Middleton. I think that's right. All the other guys from there. Yeah. Who else would I go with to keep me entertained? Who do I like? Uh, well, oh, topical, Andrew Tate. Okay. <laughs> do you know what it is? That's not bad because you'd, you'd never be bored of conversation. Yeah. And agree if, or disagree with him. Yeah. And you'd if have some the good world ever comes back to normal, yeah. he'll have some money somewhere. And I think he'd give you like a motivational sort of speech yeah. every night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Got to yeah, stay yeah, focused. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and then one more. Who, who would get, like the, who, the, zo- the zombies are the Matrix. <laughs> yeah, You've got would. to fight them. Yeah. Who would really disagree with Andrew Tate just so I could sit yeah, there? Yeah. Oh, get Pierce in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pierce Morgan. There we go. That'd be funny. <laughs> Me, Pierce Morgan, Andrew Tate, and, and now, Milton. if you actually do need to sacrifice someone, Pierce Morgan, give him the old trick. Yeah. And he's yeah, off. And, and then really, we're doing the zombies. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the world, probably. Exactly, yeah. Anywho. So, uh, <laughs> start. Start. <laughs> Isn't it? What a great start. So, uh, Sanchez, how do we move on from that? Um, I, I mean, I want to start with, what would you describe yourself as? Because Google says you're a footballer, which you used to be. Mm-hmm. Um, your Insta says you're a serial socialiser, which yep. you definitely are. Um, and it also says you're a presenter. So, what would you class your job as. Do you know what it is? I, I learned a phrase, jack of all trades, the other day. That's mm. that's not the end phrase, is it? It's jack of all trades, master of none. It's still mm. sometimes better than a master of one. Yeah. Wow. That's so, cool. <laughs> clipped. Clip it. Clip it. <laughs> Poetry on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, because what we do. for me, I feel like I, I, I touched on something at a very young age. was like, I go for things I'm passionate about and I'm happy with. So when I left Leeds United, so that was my first big thing. And I went to non-league and stuff. And I started doing any remedial jobs just to get by to try and fund the career as most people do. And then I was like, right, okay, let's say football never works out. What would my future look like? What would I want it to be? Would it be just paying bills and getting by or just doing stuff that I love? So there was opportunities to be in jobs where I would have made a lot of money, but my heart wasn't in it. Mm. So then I started following things that I enjoyed. I got into hosting, I got into talking and things kind of evolved naturally. And I never turned on any opportunities because I had this vision that they all would come back in some way. You never know what's going to happen, do you? And now they all have. So the things that I do is... My uh, presenting, so BBC Radio Leeds is first and foremost my thing. I'm a radio presenter. Um, I've been a host and a compare. I recently hosted Leeds 2023. I'm not sure if that's yeah, on a list of that, stuff. Yeah. We can dive into that, The Awakening. Yeah. I'm a member of the board of Leeds 2023 because I'm passionate about Leeds. Okay. Um, I've got my own networking company where we've got over 500 members with influencers and businesses nice. and local people to bring cool people that I just love under one roof. Um, we've got my marketing company because... Once we did that, and then businesses was like, wow, we, we like the vibe. You know a lot of people. Can you help us get ourselves out there? That developed out there. So all these things, uh, 10K coaching's coming soon because I realized a lot of people in my football industry, I did a season in Ibiza, in the businesses that I work with, some top, top, top people, all the money in the world are still unhappy. And I was like, right, those are the kind of people that people will be like, they're all right, they're successful, they're rich, they've got money. And I was like, okay they probably need my support because I can kind of see both. I've had lived both lives. I've struggled and then I've been at a decent position and I've had to work again and I'm now here again. So that's all these things have naturally developed and I genuinely believe it was because I took opportunities that were so random that I never knew where they would come to. I've had people, literally the other day, my boy had to, he had to swallow his pride because he used to say, Sanchez, focus on one thing. Mm. Just do this and do that. And I was like, no, because I'm a, I'm a qualified personal trainer. I did, yeah, I've You've done, done everything. I did everything. And then I was like, bro, but now it's all it's all kind of mm, coming yeah. together. And all of the connections I've made, I can now pull in different ways. So, yeah, I, I, I don't know what I'd call myself. I mean, I don't know what we'd call Where it. Where do you start? Should <laughs> <laughs> uh, we say an, on, an entrepreneur? Yeah. Well, yeah. I, no, okay. That's, um, the, yeah, that's yeah? the easy option yeah, that is. I just say, right, yeah, I'm an yeah. entrepreneur. Rather than having to explain, because unfortunately you can't go on a podcast every time you have yeah. to explain to them, so. <laughs> but, I'm thanking you guys. Yeah. Now, I'll, no, just, I'll just send people this link and see. Yeah. You want to know what I am? Yeah, exactly. Put it in that, put it in that network group you mentioned. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, in, uh... Exactly. So you touched on Leeds there. Um, yeah. I didn't actually know that you... you did, did you make a cap for Leeds? Is no, it... so the big, I was on the bench for Leeds against Nottingham and that story is nuts because I did everything at such a young age. So I signed my scholarship at 13, mm-hmm. you get when you're 16. Jesus. I signed my professional contract at 
15 that you want to get when you're 18. Wow. I was training with the first team around then. I was in England youth. I went to England camp. Um, I was doing the proper progression. And then that was the maddest time was when there was no under 23s. And there was not under 21s. What year was this? Sorry, Sanchez. Oh, gosh. Oh, you're trying me in. I think I left in 2009, I want to say. Oh, no, I left in like 2012. I never know. It feels yeah. like so long ago now, which is crazy. But there was no real development. Mm. So if you wasn't under 18s and you wasn't first team, there was reserves. But the reserves was kind of used for the first team who didn't play. So mm. there was nothing really in that, in that gap. So there was a point where, for whatever reason... I just wasn't in favour. So I was in this kind of gap where I wasn't even training with my own age and it got really, really bad. And then it was Neil Warnock having a training session like here on one side of the pitch and then we was meant to be training on the, on the other side but then I was in the middle training with like some trialists. Like I wasn't even involved. And then Ronnie Jepson ran over and he was like, oh, we need some players. So he was shouting over to them. But I just grabbed um, my friend, uh, it's called Bravo, and we ran and I grabbed him, come, we're going, we're going. Yeah. So we went and we trained, and this is where my boy Dominic Polian was in the first team at oh, the yeah. time. I used to have a shirt with Polian on the back. It was like a gold, like a gold one. You remember okay. that awakening? Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I loved him, Polian. He was class. Good. Play. He's doing really well now as yeah, well. Yeah. He's absolutely doing really well. So then he stayed because what it was, it was some of the first team wanted to have a little kick about. So then I played and I was like, listen, this is I need I need to rip this up. Mm. So I just I went super saying I was twisting, chopping, <laughs> scoring, whatever. And I said, Warnock pulled me and he was like, listen, I've, I've, I've not seen you play. Like, where have you been? And I told him that. I've not been allowed to play for whatever reason. So that was on the Thursday. Friday, I came in on the morning. Didn't think nothing of it. I thought that was great. I trained with the first team. And then I went to go train in my change room. I was like, oh, no, Sanchez, you're out with the first team again. So I thought, like, oh, okay, cool. Train with the first team. Cool, did shape, whatever. As we're walking in, everyone's going crazy, like in front of the boot room. And I'm like, hey, yeah, what's going on? And then obviously the, the list against Nottingham Forest, and it goes all the way down. And it was like Zach Thompson and then Sanchez Payne. So oh. I was involved. And it was like, that happened within days. Before that, I hadn't kicked a ball on the match day for ages. And then I was on the bench then. Then we had Everton in the cup. So I remember walking and yeah. Fellaini was there. And we, beat, we beat them, didn't we? This yeah, is about yeah, 2012, Eddie White, isn't it? I think yeah, it was. I, remember, I was at that game. I was at that game. There you I go. I remember it. So yeah. yeah. So then I had those appearances. And then I trained with the first team for a bit. And then I went back to my own age. And I, was, I got given the rest of the season to play. And then... Then he changed and then Brian McDermott came yeah. in and then it was all a palaver. But yeah. yeah, we could do a whole podcast just on that. I was going to say, love I, like, I, I, I honestly, love I, I, no, no, I, I don't to. know where to go here because like I say, there's so much that we can talk about. There's so many avenues. I think an episode two is definitely something yeah. we will have to do. I want to know more um, about Warnock as well. What yeah, like. yeah, I mean, like, I can imagine. But I, I, honestly, I didn't even know that you played for Leeds until about six hours ago. <laughs> I, I seen, because no. when I typed in your name on Google, we were doing a little bit of research. Yeah. Typed in your name, it said footballer and I knew that you played for a few non-league teams because yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously I played non-league and a few lads had, had told me you were coming on and they'd mentioned oh yeah you used to play football and then it said football on there and I seen Leeds United and I was like oh, oh shit and then went on to a bit more a bit more and now you've just said that I was like what? Yeah, yeah. what? Fully. It, it's, it's mental stories for days I mean, yeah. driving Bentleys with, with Johnny Howson and getting, <laughs> getting, 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 getting picked up by Bradley Johnson <laughs> and, and Tom Elliott what was the first sort of obviously the Leeds team was in terms of TV because mm. I mentioned I, I don't know what to mention oh in the intro so we haven't mentioned it to you. You've been on Love at First Line MTV recently. Yeah. You've been on Come Down With Me, yep. which we really want yeah. to ask you some questions about because <laughs> well, I love well, Come Down With Me. So. Ibiza Dreams. Yep. Um, dream. Anything else? Obviously Seven Up, which is still <sighs> seven ongoing. Up, yeah. Um, Stess Pat Lunch. I'm a, I'm a very, well, I was a regular lunch mate on Stess Pat Lunch. It was on, that's on Channel 4. It's like okay. a same time as Loose Women. Okay. Steph McGovern is the host. You get uh, loads of different um, celebrities on there that are co-host it and stuff. So, I've been on there many a times. Probably, it's probably one of that. I don't remember. But those are the those are the big ones. Yeah. They're, they're the big so, ones. which one was like the first one that sort of kicked? Was it the Ibiza one? I know you mentioned that you went from Doncaster oh, and then went to Ibiza. Line. Or would it have been come down with me? I want to say it was a few about four years ago. What's it's a program? Oh, it's honestly, but here's the thing that like you mentioned: MTV, Leeds United, and BBC, all that good stuff. Come down with me. That's yeah. what I get. I guess oh, what I get for the it? most. The most. Are you on? A, are you on Netflix? Because obviously they've just released some. Come down no, oh, right, but okay. but what what come down when we does it, it, it? It's such a clever model because it just keeps replaying them. Yeah. So randomly, I'll get like fifty followers and loads of DM. I'm like, yo, what's going on? And I'm like, oh, my episode's aired yeah. again. And I get loads like, oh, Sanchez, oh, you did great. Oh, did it? Did, did you win? No, I got cheated, man. Where did you go? Third. 
What, what did you make for everyone? So I should have won it, by the way. So <laughs> I made it. So, so yeah, so it answers the question because Come Down With Me, I think, was the first one. It was okay. Come Down With Me, then I'd be for Dreams, um, and then 7 Up, 28 Up, and then MTV just okay. happened. So I made Jamming, um, Sweet Chili, uh, Jamaican Patties. So beef, I made my own pastry and everything. Cool. Um, and then with some chili jam, I made, so I'm vegan now, but I ate meat back then. Right. And I made Callaloo stuffed chicken breast um, with fondant potatoes and uh, an asparagus salad. Wow. Um, and then I made a rum and raisin cheesecake. So how did, did you apply for it? Or did they get into yeah, you or? Yeah, so on TV stuff. So I got really close to being on Big Brother as well. So yeah, some things you apply, but then other times people, you Pressure. know, yeah, yeah, because you've got these TV casting people, I've got their Instagrams, they'll DM me and say, listen, what's your thoughts? Do you want to do this? And it's a back and forth, back and forth. I was working at a, a car buying place at the time. I remember having to keep taking my breaks to go on these phone calls and chat, 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 chat. And I was like, okay, cool. Right, yeah, we want you. But oh, brilliant. And then from 7 a.m. on, on Monday till 2 a.m. was the filming. It was Fucking crazy. Hell. Yeah, crazy. That, what's that for? Come, is that Come down with me. Oh, so it's all one day? No, no, not, not everyone. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm confused. Hang on. It's what's going on there? I think you've just pulled the cable out. You pulled the cable out? No. no. Bloody hell, te- this, is, this is the problem with the podcast, but thank God, because I think I just said something really... <laughs> we'll keep that in. What did I... What? So what? You said 7am till 2am? You thought it was all filmed in one That's day. That's what I thought you meant. But so there's five contestants, and yeah. you was initially thinking that five contestants are in one day. <laughs> Get that microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome! <laughs> You've been, you been walking out fucking yeah. tense so yeah. Oh, and, and, and drunk as well. Jeez. In a taxi, go, go, go. You, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis Hamilton in the taxi, just speeding around the block. How far off are we driving? Oh my god. <laughs> da, 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 da. That was mad. Uh, so, what do you mean? What's so, my, my Monday, oh, they came okay. at 7 a.m., okay, yeah. okay. set up all. Basically, they turned my house into like this setup. It was nuts. I've, you know what I mean? Like, you know your kitchens where you live, right? Mm. Imagine that just being re-immersed like some CGI. There was just putting like lights in my cupboard, <laughs> and then there was putting like stands, these big things, and you know to hold yeah, yeah. the cameras and rigs. I was like, oh my! So then they did all that, and then and then think of it like this: if you're putting something in the oven, it's not just putting it in the oven. It's getting it. You have to open the door. Okay, cool. Right, wide shot. Right, close the door again. Right, mm. open the oven door again. Cool. Right, we're gonna get close up. Close the yeah. oven door. Open the oven door again. So then you, then you got your food in your hand and you're going to put it in, right? Okay, take it out. Right, we're going to get close. Everything is so <laughs> oh, that in here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, me I'm, st- I'm not even marrying it. I'm not doing that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not, the chicken just dry. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot. So it's one of the things where people who don't know the behind the curtains, mm. it's, um yeah, it's a lot. So for example, you can't score down for lack of heat on the food because from time I made the plate, <clears throat> it might be an hour before wow. it goes in. Okay. It's madness, isn't yeah. it? You don't see all this. You're not aware at all, is, are you? That I remember, I, I t- I, did they say to you, because I saw an episode once where a woman purposely gave shit scores so that she could win. Which, listen, I, I'm all for it. <laughs> Mate, Winners don't. Win. I feel like... But can, can, did they say to you, you can't do that? No, okay. They basically say be as honest as possible. Okay. If I wanted to be a knob and, you know, that's just, if I want to, you know, justify <laughs> it, that's how I felt. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Did you make this? No? Okay, minus five. You can kind of maneuver it. Like everyone, everyone that's watched mine, I said, yo, you should have, because yours was clearly the mm. best as far as overall. Don't get me wrong, the other people that were brilliant with friends to this day, but as far as, again, entertainment, the food, the camaraderie, we had jokes. I, I made everyone go around and say something about themselves. We integrate, we, I did, I, I've watched the show. Like, I know this. what they do. We'll watch also, it what everyone asked, like I said to you, the, straight away, pastry. Did you make it? I knew it yeah. was coming. Mm. Yes, I did. They do, yeah. Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah, shut that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I did it. Enjoy so it. So therefore, <laughs> there was no, there was no under thing is, but yeah, yeah, it was just, yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, no, they get told just obviously be as honest as possible. You can take that mm. wherever you want. Yeah. End of the day, it's a thousand pounds and. Our Saturday night, we're not drinking at the moment. So our Saturday night is now going to be Come down with me. watching you on every single thing yeah. that you. I'm going to say, yeah, there's, there's four <laughs> episodes of IB for Dreams. There's uh, 
six episodes of MTV Love at First Lie. That was a mad experience. I was going to say, that, so that we'll move on to that one because we've we just discussed it again in the intro and we, me and Johnny, have, I don't know if you watched it, Traitors on BBC. Yeah, my friend Theo's on there. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So we just, oh yeah, because he's from Leeds and yeah, he's yeah. A cheer, he wants to be a cheerleader. Is he a cheerleader? He, he's got his own company. That's it, yeah. yeah. So um, we just watched that and we were mind blown by it. We love it. So is that a little bit similar to the MC? Because are you lying that you're in a relationship or something along yeah. those lines? Is that so right? So Love at First Lie. This is actually the third series, technically. It's called The First, but it was before called um, like True Love or True Lie. I think it was called okay. at first. Hosted by Maya Jammer, hosted right. by Danny Dyer. Uh, and my friend Liv actually won it. Um, the premise is, let's say, eight couples in this villa in Malta. And there's some real couples, some fake. The fake couples are trying to get out the real couples because they want to win, and the real couples trying to sniff out the fake couples. Mm-hmm. Real couples think that they're going there just to prove their love, not to compete or anything. Obviously, fake couples know that we're in there to sabotage right, okay, and get people out, and and that, that's the idea of it. So even we don't know who the other fakes or who the it's reals right, are, that's but class. we just know who it's we are. Bit, yeah. Great great concept. Unbelievable TV. Again, that, that, yeah. again that, and that is similar to Traitors, just great content. Yeah, yeah. I, bet, I haven't watched it again. We're going to have to watch it. <laughs> we actually are. We're so, going to know Sanchez everything day. about it. <laughs> <laughs> Sanchez and chill. <laughs> 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 we got a lot in there. <laughs> Mate, the IV for Dreams one, that's mad, because I, I almost have a fight with one of the guys. Oh, in. He sleeps, he, we're in this apartment, and and he doesn't, um, he's, he was going out a lot and doing a lot of stuff and whatever. And then we were like, listen, come with us, with the people on the cast, come out. So then the cast, um, the people arranged us to go for a really nice meal. So we was like, listen, don't go out the night before. Get up, we're going to go to there. He went out. Yeah, I was out. Ruins it. So then, then we're like, listen, get up. He's like, no, I can't. I'm knackered. Like, I feel sick. So I'm like, okay, cool. We'll leave it. A couple hours later, we're out for this meal. And then the producers, being the sly devils they are, was like... By the way, uh, he's got he's got a bird back at your place. So we're all like, look at him. He's like, he's you know, you've we're meant to be boys, and you've gone and done this. Mm. Next minute, I get a message saying, "Hi, mate. Just to let you know, I've got a bird round." And so, okay, let me explain this setup. There was two bedrooms outside, and there's only one bedroom that has a door. I'm very private. I was working at I be for rocks. I like my own space. They was all out and partying. The other two lads, so they got the outside, so they can come in and out. And mine's got a, my bedroom secluded. This guy is messing me. Said hi, mate. Hope you're good. Hope the meal's going all right. Uh, just want to let you know I've got a bird back, and we're gonna, we've gone into your bedroom to use it. Uh, we'll speak to you soon. So I'm like, wait, hold what? on, bro. You <laughs> hold on. You you what? You got your. But bear in mind, this guy's six foot six, bro. This guy's not. This guy's massive. Yeah. I beg your pardon. <laughs> yeah, it's huge. No, that's what it was. Watch your mouth, listen, bro. Listen, I'm, I'm on smoke. Don't worry about it. If, yeah. if you watch it as well, and he's a lovely guy. Bless him. But I, I put it on. I was like, bro. Man. So I'm calling him, calling him, and then you see me. I'm like, yo, are you taking a. You've got your own bed. Why are you bringing your big sweaty self onto <laughs> my bed? That's in my room, and not even that. Yeah, yeah. Like, even turn that aside, bro. My passport's in there. Mm. My wallet. I don't know yeah. what girl you're bringing back, and you was meant to be with us already. So that's like three violations. So that that show again. That show gets nuts, and then yeah, so he was he was a naked butler, and um, but he smashed it on all fans now. He's just living his best life. Is he fair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, only fans, but yeah, making yeah, his money then, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah. back to back to um, love at first lie. So what, you were lying because you've are you, are you yes. married? No, no, no. You just got misses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got misses, and obviously you got a, a, a new baby, baby as girl. well. So Shout out Luna and Kirsty. Yeah, congratulations. That was about six months ago, seven months. Yeah, yeah, about yeah, right? six yeah. Months. Um, so yeah, congratulations on that, mate. Um, I mean. What was that like for your missus? Because obviously, I know that you were lying. Yeah, um, and you weren't, we weren't together. Oh, you weren't at so the time. This is a oh, mad story. Okay, okay. So this obviously came out a while back. So the reason why me and my missus are together is because of this show. Right. So I went out and filmed in Malta, but this was still pandemic times. So we had to quarantine for fourteen days and then wait until we actually go in the show. Mm. So me, me and my now missus started speaking literally just before that. So I must have got. I was there all September. And Leeds Carnival and Leeds Fest, which you probably know, yeah. what, is, is is end of August, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So then we started talking then. And then when I was in Malta, I'm in this hotel. It was like a five-star hotel, so it was sick. But you couldn't leave it. So I'm doing nothing but watching films, ordering room service, and speaking to her. Lovely so, two weeks. <laughs> yeah, fine with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So obviously, we're just talking. And, you know, as you do, you're building, building. Then we, we talked on the phone for the first time for like four hours and then six hours. And then we're just talking. So we got to know each other so deeply over that time. Mm. I must have got, as soon as I've come back, obviously we've met and it's developed from there. So the whole time I was doing the thing, luckily I didn't have to think of yeah. that and think, I wonder what it's going to look like. I never, because I was, I was single going into the thing and then we met afterwards and then yeah, baby Man. and 
Yeah. That is what, was she in it as well then? I'm a bit confused. No, no, no. So, so the she... girl I was with was a girl. <laughs> now who's confused? Oh, 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 listen, listen. 7 a.m. Hey. to 2 a.m. Who's laughing now? <laughs> so, there's a, my life's a lot, honestly. Yeah. No, like, I, I even yeah, know it smashed. myself. Yeah. It's going so on. I was on uh, there with a, a, a girl called Chrissy that I met. Uh, we know each other from, she's from Leeds, but I know her from Steph's Pat Lunch. Okay. So we were both um, lunch mates. So we were regulars on the show. She brought this opportunity to me. She said, Sanchez, there's a situation. We need to take this opportunity. This is happening. So this casting director actually wanted to cast me for a different show already. I thought you were brilliant, but certain different things why I didn't get on this. Other, I can't remember what, know what the show was. But she was like, listen, I know this guy called Sanchez. So the guy's gone, oh my God, I've interviewed Sanchez for something else. If he could do it, get him on it. Bro, this was, I'm not joking. This must have been like a month before. This must have been like July mm-hmm. that we did this process. And before we knew it, we're yeah. on, a, on a flight. So then, yes, yeah, so we didn't know each other, didn't know nothing about her really in depth. And we had to pretend to be in a relationship, <laughs> hugging, kissing, and even little stuff. Like we got like lessons where it's like, it's, it's not the things that happen on camera, it's off yeah. camera. It's not, oh, I love you, babe, camera. And then, okay, guys, thank you for the day. <laughs> yeah. No, because then if you're a real couple, you're going, yeah. 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 It's, the, it's You know, when you wake up in the morning, a kiss on the forehead, you know, the little holding hands, the little snuggles and all this stuff. Bro, it was a front acting. It was well, a listen, it's thing. a good job you got on, because otherwise, can you program. imagine that? Yeah. You'd be arsed doing all that with someone that you absolutely hate. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, love love him, and, and I think she's great, but we, our personalities are not the same. Oh, really? Like, I'm loud in the sense of like, I'm commanding mm. and, and banter whatever but she's very Yorkshire very loud very loud very loud and she's like that and it's like and she went there and she went she got on with these with these guys who are lovely as well but she loves to have a drink and have a good time Whereas I was like yo we're here for a competition mm. yeah. bro we ain't drinking because that's gonna you know just mess up where our heads at remember we're not real we can have a drink and be like oh my god and be like yeah she could say something like, I don't know, something's, I'm like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I had sex last week. And she was like, wait a minute, I thought she said, you lot are a celibate. Or, mm. I don't know what the scenario yeah. could have been, but if we're drinking, if I was a real couple, I'd be telling everyone to get drunk. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm about to <laughs> see who's <laughs> slipping up. So I was saying to her, like, just be on point and just that, the other, we had certain plans and stuff. So, yeah, but we got we got through it, but yeah. It was, so so it was, the aim is to convince everyone that mm. you're a genuine couple. Yeah, and then get... Oh, the fakes obviously want the real ones out because it's yeah. easier to compete again. And then the winners, the last ones in, obviously get a cash prize. And yeah. Where did you get to in that one? So we were actually the last fake couple in it. I was going to say, I've seen the reveal, the reveal of you being the fake couple and everyone's yeah. like, no way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you must have been convincing. Yeah. It, w- it was. And then it, <laughs> why it was tough? Because, okay, we knew by this point the last other couples we were with were real. And the little nuances, the little conversations, mm-hmm. the things that they knew. You couldn't fake it. So we knew our time was numbered because the other fake couples that we knew were fake or had an inkling, we were gonna we were trying to band with them. But as soon as they got out one by one, it was like, yo, we're by ourselves. And then there was a last thing that I think kind of cinched it where they didn't know that we were fake, but they knew that other ones were more real. Where yeah. we had this, where you got four and you split up and there's four here. So me, I'm on one side, my miss on the other side. He's there, Mrs. there, she's there, partner's there. And then you're having conversations separately. So you can't really liaise or whatever. Right, and I okay. feel like in those conversations, that's where it was very much clear to see that this people had lots of depth. And we did very well, but it was like, okay. It's yeah. hard, that. It would it's be tough, so man. much yeah. easier if you were actually going on with it. Yeah. And it, it'd be, I'd love that. Except, okay, but the other side of it, people that were real, it seemed like they was trying too much because yeah. there's a couple now and I, I think they really do hate us. Christy says they hate us all the time and I think they do. Um, they're called Annabelle and Joey, right? And here's the thing. When you're in there, I couldn't necessarily be myself because I'm a fake couple. These lot are actually really lovely people. They live in Dubai, they're proper courteous, they're really cool. But we were fake and we kind of knew they were real so we wanted to get people out and da 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 So what they used to do is be whatever themselves is but it was overly nice. Like over, like it was too much. It was like mm. you try and, so, it, and you'd play on that as if they were well, like, yeah, because it was a scenario where we won this competition where it was the new the the new couples that came in versus the OGs that's what they had to call themselves. So they split off to that. The new couples, we we won this competition, so we were immune from the voting. So we was like, watch, let let's see which of them come sneaking over, you know, try and get in our good books. And then one of our girls lost an earring. So I, I remember someone saying a joke like, what, I bet you these lot come over and help us. But we were bantering because they were literally like 30 feet that way. We were looking around for about 30 seconds and all of a sudden we just heard, oh, let's help you out. 
And we looked up and then this girl was there and we're like, bro, you've just lost a battle. Mm. You, mm. We are now immune, so we're going to vote for one of you lot. And it just, you're doing too much. Yeah. So it, it was that, but was that because she was real and, you know, mm. she just wanted to prove it. But yeah, we leaned on that. But now, like, I remember I tried to follow him and everything and this is not following that. <laughs> yeah. And I, I even messaged God. saying like, listen, that wasn't the real me. Like, I love Dubai. I love what you lot about. I'm happy for you lot. They just got married and all this stuff. And it was, yeah, because I feel Leave like- them. If it wasn't for us, they probably they might have yeah. won it. But the, hey. that, that's the thing, with, like I say, with this TV show that we've just watched straight is like, I, I don't know how some of them can be friends with them outside of it, but they've just got to realize it, it's a game it's show. A game. Yeah. It literally is a game. You're show. there to win, aren't exactly. you? Yeah, you're like, there for, like, for money. That's why you're there. If we got, for, we, we did. Like, right, it's a game. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, not going to carry on knew, sort of personal, uh, yeah, personal judges because yeah. you don't want to. Being uh, friends you with say you're there to win. Have you, did you ever see Golden Balls? Yeah, that. Yes. Oh, <gasps> oh, the, famous, that. the famous viral clip yeah, of yeah, the girl yeah. going viral. Is like that? That? No, Listen. I promise you. I promise you. It's it's. I'm going to share it. Loved it because that is what that game is about. Yeah, you are meant to do that, and she took it, and then she was just like, because <laughs> she's like, oh, and he, here's the thing. It's gonna be what maybe a couple of hours when they're in this set filming. Once they leave, I never need to see no. you again. And she's wrapped Dude. up. Yeah. Legend. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. There's a golden few, there's balls. A few of them. Bring back golden balls. Yeah. yeah. There was a few of them. I remember there's a clip of a guy and he does it. He goes, Yes. He's <laughs> one of those girls there. She's like <laughs> trying not to cry. And this guy's like, Yo. Yes. Here's the thing. I would be I would be I'd be good at that. See, I, yeah. I, yeah. I would I'd, I'd listen, now I'm not in the situation, I'd be like, Yeah, of course I would. But if there's a girl opposite me sat wow. there like, no, I'm really good shit. I actually I was <laughs> Bro, I'm there saying, listen. Oh, no. oh. I'm saying, listen. You, your kids need to eat. Yeah. Like, you, we need to pay for 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 you for your family's future. Like, I've got you. You know, listen. You're not being back to you know to your family in Scotland for ages. <laughs> let's get you, let's get you up the motorway. Come on, Bang. man. Let's do this. Ice in the Me and you were in. Yo, come on, bro. I know, but you know what I do though. If let's say it was like hundred grand, or whatever. I literally, I probably give it like five grand. Yeah. I give it like ten this. grand. I thought this. Like, jet, like on God's like. Yeah. Yeah. I do because. I couldn't let. I, I'd rather us go home with nothing than me not like. Yeah, yeah I'm not having it. So You've got to be one up, aren't you, yeah, when you leave? I'd like, rather that. I think it'd like eat me up inside a little bit if I didn't do something like that. Like, for example, they wanted. I don't know. They needed five grand for a wedding or something. Yeah, and yeah. You've gone and won a hundred. I'd be yeah. like, yeah, yeah. I've got you. Yeah. yeah, don't but worry like, about it. Like, genuinely. But I would I, beforehand. I would yeah. be the slivering snake. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> like, listen, listen. I'm like, yo, I've got, I got family that watch this, you know. Yeah. I got, I've got siblings that are gonna watch me on this show. Do you think I can lie with them seeing it? Not you, me. It's not no, me. No, no. Come on, <laughs> T- Tina, Tina. We've been, yo. I would go in. <laughs> Get in. I'd, I'd so squeeze good. a tear. <laughs> You know, you've got to do what you got to do. Golden right? balls, yeah. you're right. Win, Golden winners balls. win, winners win. Um, so obviously you do some presenting as well now. Yeah. Um, what sort of it? Uh, you just mentioned about uh, is it Awakenings? What is that the biggest sort of event that you're doing at the moment, Ooh, or what's so, the biggest event you presented on in the in the past as well? Oh, that's a good. Yeah, no, this is probably the biggest. So okay. presenting, I've, I've hosted events. I've hosted for one extra before. Okay. Um, I've hosted, you know, for Leeds City Council in like Millennium Square for like a thousand people with DJ Danny Bond old school. Okay. You know, oomph, oomph music. Um, so I've done lots of different sort of hosting museums, hosted talks and stuff. I've hosted for like um, in in corporate settings as well. I've done talks in schools, but and obviously my generic one is BBC Radio Leeds, just a radio evening show, music talks, guests, and all that kind of stuff. But the awakening, this by far is the biggest because this one I can't lie. This is when I felt like okay, I might be I might be a bit of a big deal. Mm. Like, it was pretty cool. So the awakening is the start of Leeds 2023. It's the year of culture. So I've been a part of this from the beginning when I was in a steering group where people asked the young people what you'd want to see in the city, and I've kind of risen up all the way through. And what it is is. It's a Europe. It's a competition where each year a country gets to compete with the cities within it, and it's like five or six cities compete to be the European capital of culture for that year. So everyone in Europe knows that's the place to go. So in Denmark it was Aarhus, in in, in Belgium it was this place, in France it was this place, in whatever. Um, so so for example, Liverpool won it. I think it was two thousand and eight, okay. and that's when they got loads of museums built and loads mm, of things, right. and then they're still known for that. Hull was a city of culture, which was just just it's smaller, but they're still known. It's, it's very big because everyone comes in from, you know, creativity and economic standpoint. That's like the go-to place. 
because of Brexit, <coughs> we weren't allowed to continue. So imagine we had like four years of preparing this bid. So you, you need to talk about the stadiums and Leeds United and Leeds mm. Rhinos and arts and culture and the dance colleges and everything that we've got and the musicians that have come, Corinne Bailey Ray, etc. Mel B. And you put this all together and you go to a, a panel and you basically say, this is what Leeds have got. Then we're against, might be Coventry, we're against, you know, Leicester or against whatever. That was on Thursday, we, we, we were planning to go. The Friday, Brexit was announced. Saturday, we were meant to go to London to do it on the sun. And then we got told that, okay, the UK is not allowed to be a wow. part of this competition. So we just oh had word. four years of doing every, galvanising everything, putting in this big book. I've still got the book that you go and present. And they probably tear you down and say, well, how are you going to do this? And, da, 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 da. and then just, we just got told we couldn't do it. So for about a year... We fell silent, and then we basically just regalvanized once again, and decided we're going to do it anyway. So we, okay. we, we, as a you know, the raiser committee. So I'm now a member of the board now. So, you know, we we raised funds in different environments, and we're doing it anyway. It's a year of culture. We kind of had it a platform already of what we wanted to do, but everything happens for a reason. So within that, you are still confined to what the rules are. For example, in that bid for European Capital of Culture, you you wasn't not that. <laughs> You couldn't really lead into sport, whereas now I've got we've got leads in the prem, and yeah. so now we've got massive connections and stuff. So yeah, that's what this year is. So the awakening was the start of that. Okay. So me and Gabby Logan hosting, which is just lit because she's presenter royalty and she's a joke. She's so lovely and humble, mm. but when professional comes and bringing you in and making you feel like ten ten, and then you're both on it. And she was e- emailing me like Sanchez, what's your what's your wardrobe? What are you feeling? And I'm like, Shit, yo, man. I'm emailing Gary Logan. And she's like, <laughs> yeah. right, take my number, like, yeah, right, okay, cool, right. If you're doing this, I might do this. What you think? Of, and it's like, yo, this is nuts. And then Corinne Bailey Ray, um, who had Natanzu, Graf, Testament, Denmark. Corinne Bailey Ray, what a mm. song yeah. she so, sings. So way. so she closed it off. In this, in Leeds um, Headley Stadium, we had drones. We had lights that like went over ten thousand people. Slung Law, who's you know this massive creative agency, who put all this together. We had a hundred dancers on stage. We had Leeds Carnival. It was all represented in such a sick way, and it's basically showing that what we've got as a city, and then we've got a year to where we're gonna just keep churning out events mm. and stuff and bringing people in. So got that to, was the a biggest a lot one. to offer, hasn't it? Yeah, Leeds. definitely. Leeds, uh, is, Leeds is yeah. sick, isn't it? And More than like over 170 languages spoken in Leeds. Like, outside of, of London, we're one of the biggest cities and we've got all the transport. We've, there's so many different factors that people don't even realise. We've got the highest percentage for people coming to university and staying. Mm. Like it's nuts. People come here and go, whoa, this is lit. Mm. Like, everything could we need. be a big reason for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Ulster is a prime yeah. example. There you go. Guild from Driffield, from Lincoln. Yeah. We've stayed because Leeds, it, it, I've said to you, I don't think, unless I'm <clears> going to go abroad somewhere, um, which hopefully I will do one day, I don't know where I'm going to go abroad, but... I think this will always be the place I come back to now. Mm-hmm. Like, I think this will be the place yeah. where I raise my family in and around Leeds, whether that be like Harrogate or yeah, yeah, yeah. Weatherby or somewhere like that. Yeah. That That's where I, I yeah. want to be. And it- you mentioned Hull won City Culture. I'm from Driffield, which is about a uh, half hour from Hull. And I'm amazed it won it. Because I don't know what <laughs> it's got. <laughs> it's got like two shopping centres well, in City a- Centre and... <laughs> I'm having a good bid. Maybe, maybe <laughs> about it. One pond. Honestly, it's pond. terrible. Man said a pond. <laughs> they might have is had a good what, bid. Is that what the Bridge goes <laughs> on? Hover Bridge. Well, that bridge is nuts. I had to pay a fine for that bridge because I went, I seen this sneaky left that no one was taking, but I was like, but that gets you on the same road, so let me try it. It's like, yeah, no, fine. Yeah, yeah it's, not it's great. terrible. Yeah, Hull, uh, yeah. Oh, well, Lincoln's not far from Hull, and Hull is renowned for being a shithole. Yeah. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. From Lincoln, Lincoln, exactly. Yeah. Lincoln, steep hill. Yeah, a steep hill. Uh, f- I mean, Nuts. it is steep. <laughs> really. So steep. I went on trial for, for Lincoln, me, oh, and, me and Will Hatfield, if you remember. Okay. I do remember him. Yeah, yeah. 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 So we went on trial, they ripped it up as well. I thought we were going to get signed. Oh, no, it was there. And then I, then I think I think Simon Grayson left when we came back. Something happened. But yeah, we had, we had to run up steep hill. Did that you? Was nuts. Was that when Was that when Lincoln were in the Blue Square? It would have been the Blue Square Premier League. Or were they in League Two just about to get relegated? They weren't in League Two. Well, they're not. It was in conference. Yeah, it would have been conference. Yeah. 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 Um, what happens to Will Atfield, bro? Sorry to go. <laughs> bro, do you know what it is? He what? had a resurgence, man. He, I remember when he went to Accrington, didn't play, and then all of them scored four in a game, and he got some game time. But then he's been smashing it. I'm yeah. sure it's been Halifax. I'm sure it's been Geisley. Uh, is that filed, I think, as well? Right, or yeah. something? And what, he's doing Zach really well. Uh, was it Zach Thompson? Zach Thompson, yeah. yeah. So he came. I remember he, he was so funny, Zach Thompson. When uh, when players used to come to the academy, he, he always asked, Oh, where are you from? Where are you from? You obviously mean team. And I remember he goes, Oh, from St. Helens. <laughs> 
I was like, bro, they have rugby. Like, where are you from? He's like, oh, no, from St. Helens. Like, bro, what team? And I remember he just be so coy, but so he came from Everton at the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he even still playing anymore. Maybe playing abroad. I actually. remember he came on. I think it was against Cardiff or someone, and he absolutely flattened someone. Stood up, got a straight red, <laughs> and Warlock like couldn't even look him when he walked off. <laughs> I think it was his um, debut. Year. It might have been his well, debut. Between me and him, I remember when I was on the bench. That was him kind of breaking in. That's when Dom was playing because Dom that Nottingham Forest game. That that game was so nuts because I was going to come on. So that's when I made the bench. Uh, Dom started his first start because he was coming on. He scored the first goal. Uh, we two 0 up, and then I got told to go warm up. So I'm like, oh my god, I'm about to make my debut. Ellen Road, twenty one thousand people lit. I remember like it was yesterday. <laughs> then Rose like a salmon. Dexter Blackstock st- scored yeah. for Nottingham, make it two one. So Jeppo and Neil Warnock come over and say, listen, you know, we we love what you've done. It's a great story, but we've got to preserve this win. And then uh, they put on Andy Gray. Remember Gray yeah, Hair Striker? Him. Yeah, so they put him on just to hold up the ball and stuff. Because I've already made the sub. So I was like, I get it. But I said, listen, just being here is immaculate. It's mm. amazing and whatever. But yeah, that that close. So let's say we scored 3-0. I'd have made my debut. Yeah. Who knows? I'd have had a touch. So you would have been there with Juve, weren't you? Oh my gosh. What, what was he like? <laughs> See, this, this, this oh, is no, 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 it's good. And th- you are definitely the most... Tan- oh, not tangible what would be the word where you can digress so much guests yeah. that we've had because we've had guests where we've digressed but this conversation <laughs> generally I'm going to try and put in the edit on YouTube I'll try and put the time slots for each bit that we talk about yeah. and it's just going to be chaos <laughs> yeah, very from, sorry. come down with me to Lee Jardin <laughs> El Hadj Juice to the woman Annabelle that hates you from Dubai <laughs> yeah. it's, it's yeah. <laughs> oh, good memory um, because uh. Warnock before signing him said I'd call him a sewer rat, but that would be insulting sewer rats. And then he wow. signed him at uh, Leeds because we had no money. I think he was on a, like a free agent or something. El had so. Ah, I'm, I'm King Juf. <laughs> he was king. He was king the at Leeds. Bro, so this guy, yeah. So we went out and he took us out, me and Dom out on a night out in Manchester, bro. He was like, hey, me, I'm the king in Senegal. <laughs> king. I walk and they put flowers on my feet. <laughs> Bro, and but here's the thing: we saw both sides. We saw, and I'm not, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. We saw the absolute twat and the and the fucking angel, bro. Like he mm-hmm. he took us under his wing, and he was like, "Yo, I know I get bad publicity, my attitude, whatever, but I know that when I'm on the pitch, I'm gonna deliver. So whether they love me or hate me, they're gonna see me perform well, yeah. and I'm gonna provide for my family, and you know, I do all this back home and this that and the other. And then once we go out into into the, the real world, Doofy just just turns into this monster of a this and bravado and a king. Like, da, da, da. It's honestly, it's yeah. the maddest. He's he the loveliest guy. Once. And then also the, the big, like, yeah. yeah, I can be a knob at any point or I'm going to be your bro. Like, literally, like I said, we went out and night in Manchester, took us out of all Alan Sheehan, met Alan Sheehan in, in, in a club and Reese Fabara and all these different people and Doofy's there, got us a table and where does young lads like, yo, this is lit. Yeah. And then we stayed at his house and he lived in Bolton at the time and, yeah, he was he was somewhere else, man. Unbelie- he, unbelievable feat. Yeah, he's like a Premier League, not icon, but like a, a bit of a cult hero kind of thing. I know he? what you mean because yeah. so many people. They'll be in the history books for yeah. different reasons, yeah. not necessarily records. Like yeah. the haircut. Yeah, the, the, all the just, different ones. You see that little him and Gerard. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, the photo yeah. with the little lad who, who like has this strip. He's covered himself with fake tan or something. Have you, yeah. have you seen that? No, it's been Jew. It's some little oh, lad. It was like, oh, like Halloween or something. Yeah. He dressed as Jew, as but he got like the full like Mohican. Oh, gosh. Blonde. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I'm sure Jew for the time. Yeah, I think because I'd seen him like week before because he used to wait after game for all players. And I, yeah. I swear he had a suitcase that said "I love Jew" on it. <laughs> I might have dreamt. I'm sure. I almost he definitely loved himself. Yeah. <laughs> but in, in, in a in a, in a, in a in a, such a cool way, man. Like the guy, the, yeah, he's legend at this point. You know, he's played in the Premiership. He's done great things for Senegal and World Cups and stuff yeah. like. But yet, so down to earth, and yet can on a sixpence can just be the juve that you see mm. on TV. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. Funny, I mean, that, like I say, cult hero, kind of a cult hero, but. Just everyone, he's so recognisable, isn't he? Like, yeah. if, if there was, like, a quiz or something, like, a, a shadow picture yeah. of just the strip. Yeah. Like, right, Jew. I wonder what he's doing now. In it. Probably whatever. Bro, no, you yeah, know, he'd, he'd probably be, like, yeah, some next-level king status in <laughs> Senegal. Because, mm. bro, he's respected. Don't get it twisted. Like, he'll be, like, up there with, like, SEN and Drogba and that. Just, it's mm. somewhere in Africa. Like, he's, like, he's 
he's like a god over there. Mm-hmm. And rightly so. Like he's come out from there and played at the highest level and done well and brought, you know, stuff back to Senegal. Yeah, so. hundred percent. I mean that brings me on to sort of my next question actually, quite nicely, because um I wanted to ask you the, who's like the best person not and uh, maybe not the best, the most famous person you've either met, worked alongside, obviously Ooh. kind of worked alongside our youth at Leeds, Gabby Logan more recently. She's yeah. very, obviously like you say, very, very good. Who would you know be the person that stands out? I think it's a, that's a tough one because I can reel off a list and not to drop the names, but mm. I worked at I worked in Ibiza for a year. That's how I got the Ibiza dream. Yeah. I was already out there, okay. and then this opportunity came because they wanted to find out what it was like for you, for UK people living in Ibiza, not just partying. How do you live with mm-hmm. currency, language, etc.? But I moved out there on the back of rupturing my Achilles when I was trying to get back into football and stuff. So I, I applied for Ibiza Rocks. The Ibiza Rocks, I don't know if you know it, is is a hotel. But pool party. Yeah, we just we went, went this we, year. Yeah. yeah, we went to Sweat September. out. Yeah, right. So you know. So okay, I was a VIP host there. I so my right, job. So is that what our friend did? Um, well, no. So our, one of our friends in it, like she's a bit of an influencer, and she Jess. Mm. Um, and we were really lucky when we went. She was there, uh, but she was doing some work for Abby Frox, doing influencing, like posting, okay, working for them, doing like the TikTok channel. Um, and we booked Abby. For, uh, what did we like a pool party or something? Yeah, Nathan yeah. Dorr, I think it was. Nice and. Luckily, Jess was there, and to be fair, she sorted us right. Yeah, out. She got us VIP tables. We got <laughs> bottles half price, and <clears throat> so we were living it up like yeah. we were fucking big dogs. Yeah. And there was only four of us, and then she had a couple of her mates as well. And um, yeah, it's I, a right venue. It was, yeah, it's, it's, it's a joke. Ten, Ten a.m. music starts. Yeah. yeah. So we used to get in at half one. Event starts at two. Ends at nine. We and ends at half nine. But basically, my role, <clears throat> and it caused lots of upset because anywhere where I was. Did really well as far as sale because I was a people's person. So then I ended up where I was. I was the one delivering the food. So I delivered the food to up and down, no matter where you was. And obviously, I'd sit and talk. If I came and spoke to you, I was like, "Oh, you from that near Hull?" That's we chat. And then, for example, you guys, rather than calling your actual waitresses, you'd be like, "Oh, Sanchez." So then I ended up having a role where I was like just free, and I was just like dealing with the celebs or dealing with people or whatever, Class. and just like literally like a number ten role. Mm. So yeah. <laughs> Genuinely. <laughs> I don't know what. What? The James Madison of my beef and rocks. Yes. Because, <laughs> bro, I'm just floating. I'm floating in here. I'm ticker tackering. I'm keeping the vibes Balls going. Defeat. Yeah. Step just over here. Finding the, finding the gaps. Yeah. Like, literally, I'll be at one side and you're having a, 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 a stag do. And I'm there with the lads going, whoa, go on, you're a big lad. Who are you two? I go over there, there's a hen dude. I'm dancing with. Yeah. Where, where was the hen dude? They'll be there with influencer models that I can chat to and be like, yo, I know people, whatever. They'll be man them from East London. And I'm like, yo, you good. Like, I'm, I can get in every crowd. I mean, so, I was just making sure everyone's, and it was from authenticity, yeah? Like you got, you know, people pay their hard earned money to be there. Mm. So when you're there, if you're with me or I'm, you're having the best time mm. because I did it the year before and I paid a lot of money, had a great time at TS5, the pool party. Mm. So then I put so much effort into it. Now, because of that, there was different t- stuff where, you know, uh, Murky Fest, for example, Stormzy. All right. I, I did a lot of work upstairs. So I was I was there with it. This one I'm saying. So from Dave. Fredo, Maya Jamma, Stormzy, Retch 3 2, Getz, uh, Avellino, H, Harry Pinero, like all these, everyone, we've come in, Georgia Smith, Idris Elba, uh, David Guetta. God. Uh, obviously, Craig oh David. My word. Um, Could you get any of them on our podcast? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, no, Mr. Guetta. <laughs> well, listen, I'm, I'm slowly. I've just got verified the other day. I'm, I'm slowly moving up in that world. But, but yeah, no. I, so I've met like lots of. That was like a crash course. Mm. Think of like a summer of them, and then that's just Murky Fest and that. Then you've got, like you said, Craig Davis coming and Tom Dennis or whatever. All these other artists coming, and then people who are genuinely just coming just to come. The influencers, everyone from Love Island, mm. everyone from Celebs Got Dating, everyone from Tawi, everyone. So yeah, yeah, it's been crazy. And then because we were there, and you know, all the bouncers, I'm going into Ocean Beach, and then obviously Wayne's there, and you know, you got all the people that are a part of, the, it's just, it was just crazy, so yeah. In a place like that as well, when we went, we were saying that, it feels like everyone there is somebody, do you know what I mean, almost, mm-hmm. in terms of either a businessman, in terms of either an influencer, in terms of either, they're just successful, mm-hmm. and, and it's a lot of who you know there, I think, mm-hmm. like, we yeah. were really lucky, I, I don't know if you know, do you know Reno, Reno Riuppi? So he's, he's from Leeds and uh, he knows loads of people in Leeds. That's why I ask you that because mm-hmm. every time yeah. we're out with him, he's saying loads to so many different people. Shout out Reno, by the way. Yeah. Um, he knows, um, what's, guys, what's his name? Um, 
does he does OnlyFans, but his dad is a DJ at Ocean Beach. What's his name? Oh, yeah, I know. I um, forgot his name. I know you mean. Mm. But anyway, so yeah. when we were there, he Reno uh, messaged him, and he just messaged Wayne Lincoln and was like, "Can you sort these guys out?" And yeah. just got us VIP yeah. for yeah. like that. Yeah, and we were just like that. I think is and there's another. Is it Tony Truman or something? Tony or to- another guy. It's basically Wayne and, and and this guy. Yeah. And and they're, they're like, if you know them, so they're the ones that's like like Wiki Woo and mm. all these other places. Yeah. They they basically got it on Smash. So yeah. if you know them. You're in He's the kind know. of sorted, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There, so. there is lots of that. But it, it, it's the balance because what I do love is meeting people from normality as well because mm, it is good. It's because it, you can easily get lost in the sauce there. Like, I was going to Villa Park. Like, I'm good friends with Rudimental. So I, I, I was going to like like parties and stuff or and then because I went I met them there they'd obviously come and go and I went to one party with them and then all of a sudden like yo met someone like right we've got a next one bro I, when it, I, I can't I even it didn't feel like real life did it no it didn't because the the parties that I'm trying to say are like where there's gyms and pools and we're jumping in the pool with clothes on and you know like the <laughs> maddest stuff just like, it's like a film in it it's yeah. like no cares yeah. in the world just having a Think of what's, what's, what's the one? Is it Project X? The yeah, mad one? Project X, yeah. Obviously, it was such a very much smaller scale, but it was like that. Like, there's, and that's happening every day. Because yeah. think of this as a cheat code. I live there. You lot, if you lot came for a weekend and I met you lot, I'm coming to get lit with you lot, and you lot getting super yeah. lit because it's your weekend. You lot leave on Sunday from Friday. Someone else is coming on Monday to get lit yeah. again. Yeah. So then if it's I'm linking that, it? yeah, bro, it's nuts. I had to really, but I didn't really drink or I don't really do anything like that. So I was. Just living it with people, but yeah, yeah. that that was a mad year. I don't, for celebs and also yeah. just living. I don't think I could do a season. We have, we mentioned it last year. I think it just gets too much. Yeah. I, I loved it. It was my favorite place to go. But yeah. I just think it gets too much I, after a few weeks. I, I said to you, didn't I? I, like, I it was the first time I'd been, you'd already been, but I knew that like, I'm. I'm, I'd probably say I'm quite similar to you in terms of like love bounce off people, love sort of mm-hmm. being involved in things and doing stuff like that. So um, when we were on about going, everyone I spoke to was like, you're going to absolutely love it. Like, mm. it's going to be bang at your thing. And I was like, oh, okay, it's going to be good. And then when we were yeah. there, it just, it, it, no matter how much I explain, it feels like every single podcast is say the same thing, but yeah. it's I cannot do it. I can't do it justice. Yeah. And yeah. like you just say, yeah, I think a season is massive because it is heavy. But, okay, yeah. I, no, okay, but I found the blueprint. Okay. Live there. Bro, I was getting up before my shift and getting, getting 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 a moped and going. Bro, do you know how much greener is in Ibiza? Mm. People won't notice yeah. the greenery in the mountains. Probably like five ten minutes left and right, and then you're in like wilderness and it's beautiful. Mm. Yeah. There's mountains, there's waterfalls, there's private beaches, there's restaurants, there's there's life, yeah. Yeah. there's bowling. You know, there's cinemas. There's bowling, bro. <laughs> there's do you know what I mean? Like mon- <laughs> mundane stuff to do. Like this family, yeah, like, yeah. there's families that you won't That's see because you're on go mode. Mm. So I chose to do that like I I'm the kind of person like when I went to Magaluf with the with my Leeds team because that's what you do when you're 16 and yeah, whatever yeah. first year um scholar bro I'd we'd get obviously get smashed and have a great time but I'm up at 7 8 a.m and I'm going for a walk yeah and I'm, and I'm going to grab breakfast like I'm yeah. never I never miss breakfast and then I'm making sure that if we've been booked for something we go on an going. excursion yeah. you know we so when you I hear what you're saying but if you think of it like you're living there mm. Bro, yeah. you 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 will do so yeah, many true. other cool stuff, yeah. and, and 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 I loved it. Like I I got the IB for that. I feel like hardly anyone will do. Mm. Even the people that actually do seasons, but we was on like decent money. People would literally be going, getting the wage, and finish at half nine, and going out mm, to high, yeah. going out to Pasha, high. going out to whatever. Pasha, God. oh my days! <laughs> and then coming back the next, boy, I was, I've had a sick night as well. But these lot are coming back like zombies. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, how? And then you're trying to do it every night, and then that's why you got no money. Like, I came back up, but I was good. Yeah, I'm like, bro, like we're getting tips and everything, and because you're going out. And then I remember when I went out, and we, I went to go watch Future. Future was there, and again, Tiger, big people Shit. have been there, bro. I can't remember what I got. But I just remember giving like I don't mind like a fifty because I thought I had a foot yeah, and the change I got back, I was like, <laughs> do you know what like, a, with him. like a lemonade or so, it was or maybe a vodka. Oh, we, oh, we've said this. Said, nah, we've man. shared this story before on the podcast. One we, went to, we went to High Beef on the last night, and basically Johnny flew out, yeah. but he flew out like on our third, fourth day, so we were already heavy. Like, yeah, yeah, we were yeah. like like, but it turned my birthday when we were out there. So Johnny flew out on my birthday. Anyway, the last night was a Sunday, which was um, Johnny's like second night. <laughs> we went to High Ibiza and we're all, I'm worse aware at this point. I was, I was struggling and I was like, right, I'm ready to go home. Next day was going home. But I was like, I'm firming it, going out, going to have a good night. 
So we get to this place, uh, obviously high beef for Glitterbox it was. And uh, oh. we go, yeah, we go to the bar, but it was, mate, it was so like, it was ridiculously busy, wasn't it? It was mm. so oversold. Like the other places we've been was amazing and we mm-hmm. loved every second, but this place was oversold to the point where, I, uh, and because I was knackered, mm-hmm. like you couldn't enjoy Over it as it. much. Yeah. Um, so anyway, should we go to the bar when we first get there? <laughs> Johnny goes and buys a double vodka, lemonade or Red Bull. And she goes, so you do know that, that's 36 euros? And Johnny goes, yeah, 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 yeah. So I was like, fucking hell, Johnny, did you hear that? He went, what? I went, it's 36 euros. And he went, 36 euros? <laughs> I was like, mate, she's just told you. He was like, oh, I'm fucking listening. Because you, you, you're never going to expect no. it to be that like, oh, she said £3.60, yeah, man, cool. Yeah, like, hey, keep the chin. Like, yeah, giving her a fiver. She's looking at you like... <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what is in this for? And yeah. here's the thing: these dead watered down. I'm not even discussing the quality of it. No matter what, this it just shouldn't be that. No, nah, like bro, I'm much. in there dehydrated, contemplating whether to buy water. Oh, yeah, all we drank was water. Yeah, because like you, we got water. pissed before. You had to, you had to be tactical. Yeah, yeah. And literally, until you get to the security, you're finishing yeah. the liquor in <laughs> yeah. your bottle, putting it in the bin, going inside, and hoping it lasts the four hours. Yeah. While you're raving, because I ain't spending an arm and a leg yeah. in yeah. these places. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's super, but like we say, it, it's it's amazing. The best, it's the best yeah. place. We're going it. back this year. Yeah, I think I think the best thing we're, uh, like we were talking about doing a season. I think the best thing for me to do would be to go like maybe once a month over the summer months. So you go like once in May for a weekend, once mm-hmm. in June for a weekend, once in July for a weekend. Obviously, it's very expensive. And but that's probably I think for me would be the best thing to do because yeah, yeah. you get that break. And then immediately you're back in like, all right, three weeks, I'm going again, get yeah. the fuck in. Yeah. So, it, it, yeah, it's, um, it isn't real life and it, it's fantastic. And like I say, we just... I had six months of it, bro. It's yeah, like, half bet. Uh, could, again, we could do another episode on yeah, IB. Uh, we'll bring it back to sort of this episode and try and talk a bit more <laughs> serious. So, I want to talk about your daughter a little bit. Um, obviously, okay. like I say, congratulations on that. Um, she's six months old. What's it like becoming a father? How's that experience Bruh. been? Do you know what it does, yeah? It sets you in a state of zen that nothing can upset me. Mm. Bro, I've got no beef with anyone. I've got oh, no upset. I've got no beef with her then. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, no. Nah. It's all right. We get along. She's <laughs> keeping me up, but we, we're good. Bro, when I've when my daughter, bro, she's the spitting image of me, yeah, and it gets to the point where I can't be upset in any way, shape, or form because I need to be there for my daughter. Mm. So any, like, and it even allows me to go into rooms. If I'm negotiating a contract or a deal, bro, I, I need to put nappies on the table like I'm get. it makes me I'm getting everything I'm worth and I've, I've kind of not done that in the past because I've always been like yes of course I will I do this now no is there a pay what's the budget or what's the this or what's or let's talk which is you know right mm. but now I'm even more so mm. or same way if someone else is trying to stress me out it, I'm not indulging in it I don't you win well done yeah. anyone I've had a beef with anyone I've had problems with if it's a workplace situation I, I'm dealing with it there and then it's moving on nothing's dragging out because I'm just so happy mm. with my daughter. And it's not even just my daughter, with my partner. Since we've been together, it's just been bliss. Mm. And then to have my daughter, and she's just lit. Like, she's funny. She laughs. She talks. She's man, 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 man. And then just, oh, she literally just <laughs> looks like, like I'm looking. <laughs> look, yes. <laughs> like I'm looking in the mirror, bro. Yeah. And it's just, yeah, it's the it's the best feeling ever. So fatherhood. And and now I've, I've always wanted to build a legacy. That's why even with this 2023, I'm very passionate about it. Because long once I'm gone, hopefully we've started something special. But now that I've got a daughter, the seven up thing comes into it. Now oh, yeah. my daughter's gonna see that. She's gonna be on it. Like she's oh, gonna yeah, be on course, it at yeah. some point. And you know, it, it's 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 really special because I always think of things like Tupac. He died, and there's probably millions of examples, but he died without having any kids. I mean his legacy will live on to an extent, but mm-hmm. now, not saying I want it, but touch wood. I've got that's my genetics are now yeah. continuing. His bloodline's gone, mm-hmm. on it, yeah. Yeah, and it, yeah. whereas now like I, I feel because it's scary. Like, yeah. I don't know if you guys ever think of it because obviously young lads and stuff, but I used to be like, bro, imagine if like, I didn't have kids. Like, that's, that's nuts. We've spoke about oh, when, we're, <laughs> when we're both going to be dads and our kids are going to be around, it's going to be hilarious because we're going to be like, Harry, two younger versions of us is going to be <laughs> yeah. men. It's be chaos. Um, and it's something that um, I know we've we, we've spoken about it not seriously, like just laughing and joking. Mm-hmm. But when that time comes, like we'll it'll be it'll just be class. Did you feel like ready? Are you ever ready for it? Like, did you feel ready for it? Um, do you know what's funny? Ready in the sense of as far as me as a person, ready to first of all, ready to settle down with a partner. When when I met her, I was very much ready. Like I said, coming back off the pandemic, I've had years in AIB for I've been mm-hmm. Leeds player. You know, done it all with, yeah, much. like I've, I've I've done it. I've lived a very full life. There's never going to be any resentment. So I was ready from that standpoint. I'm a hopeless romantic. 
I love empowering love into someone else. I love doing little, for example, I'm not sure when it's going to go out, but my missus did something beautiful for me over the weekend with balloons and candles and my favourite foods and all that. And we do that for each other all the time. Like, I genuinely do believe you can have fun being single, but when you are with someone else and you're knowing each other more mm. than anyone knows you, it's the most beautiful thing in the world. So that's, I was ready for. Then as far as a baby, like I said, it was genuinely on my head was like, I don't like, not that why have I haven't won already because I've never been in a position to, but there's, until it happens, there is a fear that it's never going to happen. It's mm. weird. Like, I've got this irrational fear as well. Again, we're going to go off for a minute. Um, of, in a swimming pool that I'm going to get eaten by a shark. <laughs> Where's that come from? I don't have a clue. I have some from Dexter's lab or some madness. <laughs> but I swear down. So when I'm swimming, when I'm swimming, there'll be times, you know, you know like if you've watched Jaws, yeah. he's got, he's got in it. He's got in it. Jaws is like, <laughs> she, you're at Atlantic. Bro, <laughs> listen, <laughs> you're down at Atlantic swimming bars. <laughs> <boss. laughs> Do you, know, do you, do you want to explain what I think? I feel like I'll be swimming underneath and the back part of the swimming pool will lift up and a shark will come out. <laughs> it's bad. It's so, a, sorry, so how is it related to your dog? No, no, no I'm saying, that's an irrational fear because it's not happened and it can't happen. Yeah. But in this, it's similar. Like, in my head, I thought, for whatever reason, I thought I just, I thought I just couldn't have kids. Mm. But I'm like, but bro, you've never actually had a relationship where you've tried. But in my head, I was like, I just can't. I don't know. I'm barren. I, you know, I had a <laughs> real fear because I wanted it so bad. Yeah. I was genuinely nervous that I was just not. It's, Have you ever been in a swimming pool and realised that sharks don't come out? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because I go to <laughs> the, gym, the gym that I go to now. He's got a pool in it, but I promise again, I'm on New York's podcast. I'll yeah. be open and honest. There'll be times I go out. I go, <laughs> we're all good, and I look. At, yeah, yeah, bro, I'll be like, yo. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> you know what it is? Because when you're underwater as well, you know what I've bought recently? I just bought some goggles because that helps. <laughs> because it's, you know when you see someone, if someone dies underwater, it's a bit musty. It's, yeah, it's like yeah, a shadow. It's yeah, like, yeah. yo, is that? <laughs> that's like great white. But yeah, no, I had the irrational fear, I had a fear that I wasn't going to have kids. So then I was ready in a sense. Mm -hmm. I was ready because this was a woman that I loved, love of my life. So that's brilliant. Listen, let's be real. Sometimes people have situations where you, you don't have kids with people that you're with. It's one night stands. Anything can happen. That's never happened with me, luckily. This happened with someone that I'm actually wanting to spend the rest of my life with. So when you say, are you ready? If a scenario's like that, it's kind of like, yeah, you never mm. are, but that's the best of a situation. Yeah, you're yeah. someone that you love and she wants you. It's and the best place to be ready. Yes, yeah, it's yeah. not a bad place. And then, and then yeah, no. And you get ready, like, bruh. Before I came here, I thought, I'm going to be late because I'm having to change a nappy, but I'm just like, whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Done, bro. Done. It's, it's so <laughs> lit. You make them noises like you do. It's yeah. so lit. It's so, and then and then also I'm so stupid. It can be a big kid, and it's you know she just loves everything you do. So I'm just singing. We watched My Little Pony. I rapped about My Little Pony the other day, and she was just loving it. Like I've got the video. I'll send you the I'll show you the video afterwards. It's yeah, just, Johnny's a bit of a, a, a rapper, right, John? But yeah, yeah. Bad. Not yeah. Sure yeah. next one. Yeah. 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 Episode two. Episode yeah. two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're get, oh, honestly, we're gonna have to wrap it up because. Yeah. We, I could generally go on for hours here. Yeah. And we do need an episode two, 100%. We will do an episode two because Sanchez... Hey, I've got more questions, yeah. especially about Neil Warder. Football, <laughs> everything. Yeah, we, could, we could speak, like say, for hours. We'll, we'll sort of move on to the, cl the closing questions. Um, so moving forward, what are your plans now? Obviously, just to keep being a... Progressing in the presenter game mm -hmm. to be more of a sort of a personality, social media personality, that sort yeah. of thing. Is that the, the end goal and... Yeah, uh, the main thing, though, is doing for oneself. So it's, it's my 10K family, my 10K okay. business. So the 10K club, again, uh, that's just because all the things I've mentioned, imagine all the people I've met in that lifetime. I was like, right, how do I get them all under one roof? So the 10K aspect is that when you hit 10,000 followers on Instagram, that's when you're like a micro-influencer. Mm -hmm. So if you've got 10,000 followers, you're automatic, it's a private members group that you, you get automatically accepted into. But then of, if you're not, you have to apply for it. You have to say, we own a podcast. We have to say we're, uh, we're athlete. We've got doctors. We've got singers. We've got musicians. We've got dentists. We've got everything you can imagine. We've even got people that have got like, listen, I own a, a cupcake stand and I just want to be around good people. People that just say, listen, I don't have anything to offer yet. I'm stuck in a dead end job and I just want to be inspired. We've got, and you get accepted. 100 followers. doesn't matter. So then we've got over 500 members now. And that's going to pr progress because we put on events in quirky places. So we've got a concert in, in the making. We've got a fashion show. We've done root up events. We've done Dakota. We've done all the, the big places in Leeds. We're going to do like mini networking events and bring fashion and bring food. We've got a food festival in the making. So that's my now my big thing that I want to progress. As I said earlier, underneath that is the marketing. So now we've got a videographer, we've got a photographer. My partner's got her own graphics company. So we're now working with the businesses that we've built relationship with 
in the networking to now do their marketing, which is huge. And then we've got the coaching. We've got all the footballers, the athletes, the influencers that I've met that need a one on one to one support going into school, speaking to footballers mm -hmm. from what they've been through. That's now taking off because you've now got a face that people understand. I've been through it and that's now becoming huge. So the the, the 10K business, that's now my, my, my big thing. I feel like the hosting and the presenting, their stuff can be coming here and then. Okay. And, you know, I did look north for a bit where I was a BBC, um, the sports presenter. So I've got all these um, experiences now that I can tap into. My CV is is, is quite good. Mm. But the, these this next year, especially alongside Leeds 2023, is, is, is to take the 10K stuff to a new level because Gosh. we've not even started it. We, we're doing online courses from wellness to fitness and partnering with personal trainers and partnering with yoga teachers and doing... One of the things I want to do is rent a bowling alley and getting everyone, you know, networking, not you with a bad job. don't you? I love bowling. <laughs> I'm actually sick of it as well. You know, That's like, you know oh. what it is? You what have are to, you doing after this? Yeah, <laughs> learn what you're good at and go with it, bro. Like, yeah. I ain't trying to go... go I ain't taking no one golfing because I'm yeah. dead. Bowling, 100%. <laughs> and then, yeah. So Put it down, that, you're not very good and then turn up to the alley. You've got your own ball like, <laughs> next to her on Gavin and Stacey. <laughs> I'm there with Rob. <laughs> I'm just putting the gloves on and uh, pulling my own shoes out of my bag. Uh, You've got the barriers up and the ramp. How to do it? You push it. <laughs> I'm spitting it. Yeah, yeah, no, listen, that sounds fantastic, well, yeah, mate. And, the, and it sounds like you, future. like, yeah, like, I, like you said, and like I've said, you've got so many different arrows to your bow, and it's it's really impressive. And and listen, fingers crossed, it's going to all go well and work out. It seems like everything else has in your life, so um, <laughs> I don't know why this wouldn't, mate. Um, one thing we end on, we always ask our guest um, and. And especially for the first episode well the next few episodes with you because of generally like this, <laughs> this could just be a series itself just <laughs> sad um what what is sort of one piece of advice you tell your younger self if you were to look back when you were 10 11 12 whatever age at maybe mm. a, a period in your life where you were thinking what do I, what can i do what's a piece of advice you'd maybe tell yourself it would be make sure you've given a hundred percent because in times i haven't and times i have whether that, that is actually the main issue, if you come away with, it, with a situation with no regrets, I've been able to hold my head up. So even at Leeds United, I knew that I worked hard, I trained, I wasn't out partying, I wasn't doing it. I gave my all. So then I can be like, oh, I can hold my hands up. Like whatever happens is really out my hands. If I knew I wasn't giving 100%, if I knew that I wasn't cleaning my boots the night before, if I knew that I was not having the right breakfast, not preparing, I'm not trying, you're going to absolutely go yourself. And I feel like there's, there is other scenarios, probably when I was in that after football, that position where I was a bit lost, you know, mm. really was a bit lost. And I, w I was drifting through life and just doing it here and there. And then when it clicked, then I saw progression and things happen. So what I'd say is, do that no matter what, like no, whatever you put your mind to or whatever you're putting your name to as well. Reputation is huge. Give 110%. And mm. that 10%, I know it's a cliche because you can, mm. you can in the sense of if someone asks you to Go stay for two hours, mile. stay for two hours and 15. If someone asks you to come early at half eight rather than nine, come at 8.15. If someone says, you know, I need you to clean eight cars when I was cleaning this car place, I'd say, cool, I'd, I'll do 10 and I'll do the inside. Mm. Like, those yeah. little things that are they're the difference in a room that you will never know about where people will go Sanchez kid's alright mm. we've got a promotion space yeah you know what it is that he got me a coffee the other day it was, it was a good kid you don't know who's speaking about you in other rooms and that's the, the things they'll speak about is you giving 100% an effort mm. so I'd say to my younger self like you, you were doing it but do it at, at every avenue mm. and don't think about getting something back from it just do it because now I, I do stuff just because and if it comes from it, good. If not, there's no skin off my nose yep. for giving a hundred percent. So <laughs> no, yeah, great lesson to have and a Absolutely. great attitude to. Sorry, yeah. great lesson to learn, a great attitude to have. So um, no, a hundred and ten percent. I'm glad. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> guys, thank you so much for wrapping up there. Wrap up there. Um, <laughs> like I say, this has probably been the longest episode we've done. Um, so if you have stuck to the end, let us know down below. Um, it, it's been. It's been so entertaining. Yeah. I've loved it. You're I've loved there, it. Yeah, it's been so much fun. I'll be um, back, man. Whenever yeah, you go, definitely. Won't we? We'll uh, we'll do it. Like I say, we'll do a part two to this because we need to find out about Neil Warnock yeah. and ev everything in between and yeah. more about Ivy. So there's so much more. But yeah. um, Sanchez, thank you so much for coming on, fella. Nice one, guys, if you've enjoyed it, then drop a like, drop a comment, um, subscribe. Make sure to follow all the socials. Um, and yeah, we'll uh, we'll be back next week for next a new week. episode. So. Uh, 
Vamos. Vamos. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Cheers. <laughs> Bang on. <laughs>